In today's video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate the use of construction geometry paths and surfaces for results post-processing. Construction geometry paths are used to scope results onto a straight line between two points. A second way to define a path is by a predefined edge in a model. And multiple edges can be used as long as they are continuous. And then the third method to, use to define a construction path is used through the use of local coordinate system. The model we're looking at today evaluates how long it takes to cook an 18-pound turkey by slapping the turkey carcass, assuming that the kinetic 25 watts of kinetic energy per slap every second is transferred as heat into the model. Natural convection to the environment is also assumed. Here's the results of the, of the heat up of the turkey carcass. And what we want to do is use construction geometry to evaluate other items. To insert construction geometry into the model, go to the model portion of the tree, add construction geometry. So the first method we're going to look at is defining a, a path. So if we insert a path, the first way we're going to define the path is by two points. So we can define these by, by coordinates, or we could select different points on the model. So we'll select two arbitrary points, change the scoping method to for vertices. I'll pick a vertex here. And then for the second point, we'll pick a vertex here. So you see we've, we have a straight line path that passes through the model between two different points. And now we, to evaluate the results for along this path, we go to the solution information, insert temperature, and instead of geometry selection, what we want to do is define a path, or we want to identify the path that we just defined. And there's only one path in the model, so we'll select that and then evaluate all the results. So this is showing, as a function of length, the the temperature distribution along the path that we have defined. Also note that since the path actually passes outside of the model and then back into the model, that's why we have this gap here. So a second way to define a path, we're going to insert another path, but we're going to define this, this path by an edge. And in this case, we, we have a predefined edge or a series of edges for the handprint. So again, we have a, a path that defines the, the outline of the hand onto the, onto the turkey. We're going to duplicate this result, clear this generated data, and so we're going to select the, the second path to evaluate temperatures and then evaluate all results. So this is showing you the temperature distribution along that path that we have defined by the outline of the hand. And we're going to define one more way to define a path. We're going to insert a path. And we're going to define this path by x-axis intersection. And now it's looking for a coordinate system to define this path. We can define, use the, the global coordinate system, but we have another Another coordinate system that we have defined over here, it's an arbitrary coordinate system rotated at 45 degrees. So we're going to use that to define this third path. Again, we'll go down here. We're going to insert temperature results using a path. And then this will be the, the third path that we have defined. And we evaluate all results. So here's the path defined by that, that third coordinate system, how that passes through, through the model to de determine results. So the next thing we're going to look at is construction geometry surfaces. And there, this, these surfaces are used to construct, to scope results to cross-sectional surfaces defined by a, a coordinate system. So we go to construction geometry. Now we want to add a surface. And for right now, we'll just take the, the global coordinate system we go back and just to demonstrate what you get, 
if we go and insert temperature, now we define the scoping method by a surface. And we only have one construction geometry surface, which is shown highlighted in the, the transparent blue pane. And evaluate all results. See, now we have a cross section, cross sectional view of the results along that path, along that surface. I'm going to define a, another one more surface, one more way. We have a coordinate system which is orthogonal to that original coordinate system. And the construction geometry surfaces are defined by the xy plane. So if we select this coordinate system and we can create a construction surface, which is now called surface two, and we can see where that passes through the through the turkey. I'm going to insert temperature. Select surface. And then we'll select the second surface and evaluate all results. So this video has demonstrated the usefulness of construction geometry for post-processing.